Look for mind control with the double and snare. Uh oh. Got him. Mind control. Moved up. Another net. Down. And I'm surprised he's caught up by that one after he initially dodged. Miracle and uh, and GH though they always have the recovery mechanism. Looks like they're gonna go on Baby Knight again. Last time they actually died because of it, but this time around with level five they do have the burst damage to actually get that Queen of Pain. Lane is back in their favor. Uh, I think we Revenge cannot kill Ace. That's for sure. He'll just turn around on them. Again, again. looking for Miracle. I do Double not know about this. Double damage on Baby Knight. They think that'll make the difference. They're gonna go for GH in the back lines. Baby Knight turns around, oh. one shots him. He does have Sonic Wave, but the physical damage from Miracle is rapidly threatening him. The toss is coming up. Miracle attempted to go for it with Noya Ooh. there. Tried to toss him over to the Queen of Pain. Couldn't Dust quite get it. Run into a sentry and die for it, but bottom lane, they found Venge and possibly my control as well. Now that track is going to be a big kill. They do have to relocate in. They're going to be able to pop Hester Joe despite the mech going down. Now, Noya and Ace may not have the damage together to be able to bring down Miracle, but they could definitely get GH before he can relocate them out. Now the poo forward. Nice play by Ace. Excellent Meepo control. Gets the one kill, starts the poo, and blinks forward with his main Meepo to find the primary damage dealer. And with this mech vanguard on Enigma, they have a very potent five-man push. Iron Control knows he's thrown the swarm into the pit, has found Cloud9 doing Roshan, but can Liquid actually contest this? I think they can. They've already got the Aegis in hands, though. Matu holding on to the song. He's going to be able to go for Hester Joe first. Miracle helps him out, lending a helping hand in the toss. We'll be able to finish off that off laner. Take away the sustain, but now Kuro's going to be caught by Ace until the sleep goes down, but Kuro's still going to tick down. And Shadow Strike is able to finish him off alongside the uh, Meepo Blade. They're so desperate. Liquid, you can see a very clear game plan, especially with the Shadow Blade on Liquid. They want to try and split C9 as up as much as possible and get these occasional pickoffs with an overwhelming oh, amount of damage. But now Matu may have been caught. He does have a Song of Siren. He's baiting right now. He wants Miracle to be able to come in and get one of these Reaper kills. But Matu, oh no, he doesn't have it in time. He gets taken out by Ace. Now GH is going to be the next target. He has a track on him, so he's going to die. Miracle now with no longer having a clear escape mechanism is going to have to use his shadow blade to try and get away fortunately d9 not having the vision there on their two cores oh see him as a sentry not gonna get right and we needed him to make use of his mobility especially against this meepo never to be caught to be playing in cloud nine's face but he's been caught a number of times it looks like miracle is going to try and set up on baby knight with this combination the toss board damage is barely enough now they can catch rise as well as matu and gh were set near that tier one tower noia's coming in with hester joe and ace thinking they can fight this one but there goes the song of siren now if they bring more no, they're gonna they're not gonna fight into that. They force the rotations bottom lane and they even throw out a, a dust just to see if bounty hunters are not. Maybe they'd go for this uh Meepo at top, but they want some extra help. Now Matu's, Matu's here, so sleep. surely with the relocate in, they can actually kill Ace. He's going on to my control, but first he gets the time lapse off. So now Ace C9 in some serious trouble. Ace is trying to get out with one of his Meepos, but the other one, <gasps> I don't think they're gonna be able to poof out in time. One of his ensnared. And there it is. Pick yep. off they needed. They force the rotations bottom. Find Ace at top. They're going to lose GH most likely. Kuro actually coming in, trying to lend his buddy a helping hand, but is this just going to be two supports that to die? And that is a lot considering the track kills that also come into play because of that one. Would have been so much Sweet. stop. Take out the bugs. That does kind of delay their retreat and brings them lower. But Liquid still not feeling good with going for the Aegis Hero. They're going to actually get Baby Knight out of that one. GH, he's going to immediately be the Vice, though. No opportunity for relocate. He was using it, too. The swap goes down, but Miracle still slowed down. A Song of the Siren goes out from Matumba Man. That'll save both Kuro's life as well as Miracle's. And they also have the buyback now on GH to make sure the Miracle's a fighting force once again. Goes for Ace, but he misses! Ace gets away with the poof just in time and keeps that Aegis intact for another two minutes. That's crucial. Now they've got another opening to go high ground when Quap respawns. Miracle just keeps finding these openings. And this is where I talked about like the draft advantage of Cloud9. Liquid are going to have to outplay them. And that's what, I mean, there's been a few missteps here and there for Miracle, but for the most part, Liquid as a team have found great moments to outplay Cloud9, deal with the Aegis and keep themselves in this game. Oh yeah, he actually gets in the way of Liquid, who are chasing down Hester Joe, but now that gives time for Ace to be back into the play. Gets Mind Control locked in with the Ensnares. He's going to be able to find Matumba Man too. They need something to save him. Miracle comes in, sleep. looks for the toss back, doesn't get it, but the Song of Siren is up. Out 9 did not have the disabled. Baby 9 doesn't actually run into him. All right times, he just is going to expire, but Cloud9 seen this for a couple times today now the smoke up as the Aegis expires looking to get aggressive but the enemy team may be letting up their 
guard just a bit. GH is going to be spotted out here. Shuriken onto Miracle. There goes an avalanche. Sonic Wave doesn't actually catch him, but the black hole will. Now the swap stops the black hole, looking for the relocate out, but that one's immediately stopped by a Malphite. Excellent play there from Head to Joe. Now they've caught Kuro as well. They get the two supports, even if they can't get Miracle himself. But Liquid, it seems like they were caught a little bit off guard by how quickly Cloud9 were able to push. If they were going to give up that Rax. Oh, Liquid, they try and jump forward, but now Miracle gets turned around by the Scythe of Ice. Here comes that big burst damage. Curl bails him out. Once again, with the swap, Mind Control going for one of the Meeples in back lines. Can't lock him down. Pops a time lapse, but he's immediately ensnared up, and there's no saving hero now. Miracle comes in, tries to finish off Ace. They can't save Mind Control, but they will get Ace, and they'll get Noya as well. He gets the Invis off, but an Avalanche will cover him in shards. DH, and it's going to take them a while to get these lanes under control. They may never be able to do it. A double damage tiny beats down the tier 2 tower. They get a small initiation on him. Force him back as Ace now revives. They get the track onto him. Maybe they can actually catch Miracle. C9 is looking for Matu, though. They know that's an important hero. The BKB activated. Oh, no, it turns against him. Now, Miracle just beats him to a pulp. They get the stun on the rise in the back lines. Noya, as well as Ace, are covered up in swarm bugs. Ace gets off a poop and gets a lot of damage onto Matu. I think he expected Matu to try and get out, but now Matu's covered up in the black hole. They've caught mind control as well. Ace has actually turned this fight properly. Gets out with a lower health Meepo, while the rest of the Meepo take down Miracle. GH, who used the relocate earlier oh, and trying more. to help out with a black hole, is going to be sent right back from whence he came into the track. Liquid lose the quickly eat up this melee racks, and the tiny is just not going to be up fast enough to save that building, but maybe they can still catch something. Kuro's getting in position to be throw out the swap. Gets the stun onto Ace, but Ethereal Blade from one of the other Meepos helps saves and poofs backwards. BKBs on both Hester Joe and Baby Knight. Hester Joe's going to be the one caught in the ensnare. Miracle, he knows he needs more. They've lost two melee racks. They can't afford to leave out this fight without multiple kills. They've got a double kill onto one. They took out Hester Joe. They try to go for the Meepo. This butterfly tiny oh, the song entrance. Are they going on they the can, yeah, they they gonna, they can get the quick melee racks, but all they're gonna do is force the glyph. They're gonna TP out on Matsu. They do have the track onto the tiny. They also get a lot of damage onto the tier three at the same time. They are gonna be able Matu to get at least dead. Matu there. They're melee trying to get the top melee. And just trying to suicide for it, and yeah, they'll they get, get it. Even meanwhile, Tiny's back in bottom. All right, they're just going to try and force Megas here with the death on the Naga side. They're going to be able to get the range racks at bottom. Miracle's already taken out one and two. There goes Megas. Liquid and a swift maneuver, despite losing Matumpa Man, are going to be able to force Megas here, except for oh shit, the melee racks still. And they've caught GH in the bottom. Turn, Miracle fighting up against Ace. a nice use of the Ethereal Blade, able to save the Meepo that's low HP. Miracle now tries to hit a different Meepo, goes for another one. He needs a little bit more. He gets it in the end. Miracle is tanking enough. A buyback onto GH to help out Miracle here with the Scythe of Ice going in. They have a relocate back, but he they're needs five more GH. seconds. They're going to try and kill Miracle first. Oh, they're trying to burst him down. Couple more seconds. GH gets him out. They couldn't what? go. Oh. They tried to go for Miracle first. They thought yeah. they could actually burst him down instead of going. Some of the night time. Uh, find a quick entrance here, but it looks like they're going to bounce out here and try and get mind control on the side here. Noya's been spotting him out. Baby Knight may have the burst damage, or maybe not. They're actually going into the mid lane. They've got that melee Rax. Ace is trying to finish him off, but Miracle already gets the four staff away, and now mind control is actually turning against Baby Knight. Baby Knight tries to get the blink out. BKB activated will keep him alive, but Liquid, they've already done the damage needed. They don't have buybacks on some of these heroes, so they don't risk anything. They take that melee Rax. They force Megas and get out rather cleanly. Nobody gets picked off there. Exactly what they're uh, going for. Roshan is going to be a okay. quick pickup here for Ace and the boys. He just on Hester Joe, possibly. Yep. Jeez. Push now. Come. Back in. Miracle's now gone back for the BKB against like the the Malefus Midnight Pulse. He's probably just thinking like I can just secure some of these buildings or at least force a black hole to be thrown through BKB hitting buildings. So maintaining his uh, vigilance here on the left hand side while the tiny wisp at bottom. Looks like they're going to try and go on Ace while the rest of his team is in middle. They don't quite get a full on swamp initiation or anything like that. So Miracle just takes a shrine and out, seeing if they can. Worse than the members of C9 that are mid back to the base. Bit of money for everyone, but too big a deal. And yeah, this is going to be a, a slow death by a thousand cuts if Cloud9 
don't find some kind of opening soon. Problem is the buybacks are going to be the big problem. Like you win a fight off of a black hole, well suddenly liquid have everyone back alive in those that Glibber black cape. hole. Orb. Rise, a Glibber cape surprisingly enough is actually keeping him alive, but he finally does get scattered out. Now Kuro is going to be threatened here. Has to Joe moving forward. Baby Knight actually blinking up. They're trying to make this work, but now Tiny's jumped onto Ace on. in the bottom lane, but he's actually getting turned around on. Bounces away. Ace is going to send all of his meeples up to the farther top lane, while the rest of C9 have to back away from that mid engagement. Now Liquid back away from bottom. Managed to blink out from Kuro ahead of that Shadow Strike while going in deep as Mind Control picks up the kill onto Noya, allowing Miracle a slim bit of time to hit on that tier 4 tower. Bit of damage done as he bounces back with another Blink Dagger. Now Liquid, Wolves closing in on all sides against Cloud9 members. As to Joe, goes for the B KB attempt to blink out, but can't actually get anything here with the swarm on him. This is going to be a BKB wasted. He does have the refresher to use, as well as that first black hole. Baby Knight attempts to get a hold onto Miracle once again. A blink out, no holds. All the blink daggers remaining up. Mega Creep streaming in, and tier fours under duress. Has to Joe, hoping to be able to tank most of this up. Kuro takes his opportunity to jump on him, forcing that Aegis down, and they do get the pop onto GH God. But now Liquid have used the Song of Siren, holding things as a, as in cloud nine have to deal with the mega creeps first while liquid try and recover baby nine almost dies to megas now heads joe's gonna be jumped on by miracle managed to burst him down buyback is up and he still has those black holes ready to go the sight device in but one of aces uh, meeples are actually quite low he has to get away from these megas they're too much of a threat baby knight doesn't have the level 25 so the blade mail isn't gonna save him the black hole comes in but is it too late he gets a refresher the swap off he needs another big black hole but he can't quite get it batu trapped on the right hand side slow down here comes an avalanche and another black hole but it catches nothing but megas ace he's battling up against Matu and Miracle. He's actually getting the damage done. He's killed Matu. He's killed Miracle. Somehow Cloud9 with a one man, two black holes has only managed to kill two cores. Liquid have the buybacks necessary, but Cloud9 are going to hold for now against the Mega Creep. Disable all of Tiny's itemization. Baby Knight has already blown the cheese. And again, Mind Control goes for him, bringing him down to half health. kuro has been sitting in the trees this whole entire time, but Cloud9 say enough is enough. They're gonna force it. And here comes the relocate. Liquid are just gonna try and dance around them. They go straight for the tier fours. Mind Control easily has enough damage to be able to beat down these tier fours rather quickly and go for the throne. Hester Joe is left alone against this to try and put a stop to all of this, but it's just not gonna happen. The Glyph goes down. Song of Siren on the other side. So Cloud9 aren't getting any damage done to the buildings. Mass TP's back. Mind Control's gonna try and finish this up with the help of Miracle and the BKB, Clean Liquid finally do it. They finally close out this game two against Cloud9, an ultimate rat affair. They get it done in true fashion. Alliance would brown.